Okay, so we're up to the next um, project for Mexican Independence Day. Uh, I'll just show you the uh, worksheets first, and, uh, and I'll show you the, how I finish them as we go. Um, so the first one, you don't have to, this, this is like for, it says to cut out, but you definitely don't have to cut out. So it's just coloring, coloring of um, these six, six different uh, cards here. And then again, I put my mother to work, and then here's what she did with hers. You can always take a look and see if you want to copy those at all. But of course, that's for cactus, poncho, taco, mariachis, a temple, and flag of Mexico. And we did that one with the last project. Okay. And the next, the next uh, independent worksheet. Um, basically has all those same items, only this time it just gives you their beginning letters. So here, we're going to do Pancho, Cactus, Mariachi, Taco, uh, Mexico, and Temple. Um, they do not, in these, they do not write the first letter. So they're just going to write the rest of the letters. And if, if they can, just go ahead and say them as they write them. That'd be great. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what the finished product looks like here in just a second. Okay, so there's the next part. You can see, just right in, um, starting with that second letter, just say C, Cactus, P, Pancho, M, Mariachi, T, Taco, M, Mexico, and T, Temple. Okay, so the actual art project, this time is going to include this. Um, this is the, the blank page. Everything's going to get glued to. This time there's no going page to page. Uh, they're going to put the name and the date at the top. And then here they're going to write the letter M all the way across, so capital M and then small m. I'm going to go ahead and do that and show it to you in a second. OK, so that's going to look like that. Mr. Dan. I put the name and date and then write the answer. You see, I don't need to have the best handwriting, so I don't don't really care what it looks like as long as you can uh, make it out. So the rest of the stuff is going to be glued to that. Um, here are these. Oops. I have the wrong, wrong ones here. I have it's supposed to be one orange and one yellow with these. These are, and then here we have this. Uh, and then you can see there's uh, red on the other side. So there's actually two, two, um, two pieces again. So when you cut once, you get two. You can, these are the maracas they're going to make. Um, I'm going to uh, cut those up and show you that part. And I'll quickly just show you what the final product's gonna look like. Except the, 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 the ends are up there in pencil. So I will get a cut and I will be back with you in just a minute. Okay, so I would recommend not having a fan. It took me a heck of a time trying to keep these together with the fan blowing on me. Uh, so maybe not, don't have a fan on while you're trying to do this. So I'm going to show you the cutting of the, the this, this part of it. So, anyway, so you can see at least I'm gonna show my cutting this. It is a little more difficult because it is two pieces of construction paper, which makes it a little more difficult, but that's why I put the staples in there to to hold it still. You do that, then you get two. All right, now we're going to take those and we're going to see it. Make sure you see this. Put it out of the way. 
Right. Now you can always pause your video so you can see this, so you can see the final product as we go. So now this, the way the sample was done, you, um, you can do it this way uh, with orange on the green and yellow on the red, but you can do however you want to. You can mix and match them. Uh, but there, the sizes do have to go in certain places. So the smallest one's going to go up here, the biggest one in the middle, and then the, the middle sized one will go on the bottom. Okay. So that's what I will do first. I will do the red one on there. And again, this doesn't have to be uh, green on top of red. Can, hey, however, you want to put it on there. That's going to go right there. And then the green one over the top of it. Pretty simple project on this one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do what I suggested and mix them up. I'm going to put the small orange one at the top there. And I'm going to put the and this yellow one uh, in the middle there. Okay. And then the short orange one, on the, the, the middle orange one on the bottom. So. And just like, uh, just like always, some of them some of you had already had them cut for you, so that it would be more or easier for you to do. Okay. The only the only thing that you might find with doing doing it that way is that the orange you can see does not show up as well on the red so you can still still again that can be your your choice as to how you want to do that but i thought it'd be more fun more colors well same number of colors but just in different ways so there you go and then of course at the bottom there is you have to write the word maracas and the lines are there for guides for how where the letters go so let me real do real quick write that on there, there we go. so big m a r a c a s all right Maracas. there you go i'm gonna just I said you can take that and your you'll have three this time so you have that one that one and that one to show me so take pictures of those or they can just hold them up like this to show me so uh, take a picture or you can uh, as I said uh, show me during one of our classes thank you very much